Hola y bienvenidos a Colombia. Hello and welcome to Colombia. This summer, I had the privilege of doing a three-week externship in the Centro de Veterinaria y Zootecnica with the Universidad CS in Envigado, just outside of Medellín. I chose Colombia because my mother immigrated from Colombia in the 80s due to the safety concerns at the time. I wanted to strengthen this connection with my heritage while also practicing my veterinary Spanish and deepen my understanding of the cultural experiences many of my clients may have. I arrived a week early to explore the area before starting my externship. I was able to appreciate the culture and beauty of my family's homeland and began to see the close connection between animals, the environment, and people. I sometimes saw stray cats or dogs, and the farms I would tour often had cats and dogs roam the property, such as some of the cuties seen in these clips. I then began my externship, where thanks to the lovely professors, I was integrated like any other veterinary student rotating in their final semesters. Every morning began with rounds in academic activities. My rotations consisted of consults, imaging, surgery, and hospitalizations. I swear this clinic has the equipment and space to see almost every species under the sun. I mainly worked with cats and dogs and worked with some wildlife such as a peacock that had suffered a dog attack and I was able to follow along with its wound repair over the weeks. I learned many new techniques such as different methods to take a blood sample and even had the privilege of scrubbing into some surgeries such as a cystotomy. In hospitalizations, I learned hospital works closely with local shelters while overpopulation is a huge concern. Speaking with my colleagues, I learned that we share many similar challenges in the veterinary field such as high cost for clients and burnout. I also saw some more unique challenges. Although the clinic is equipped with a lot of technology, some resources have a delay in making its way to Colombia, making some aspects of treatment more difficult. I heard multiple cases of pets relapsing to megacolon simply because a specific brand of fiber diet is often understocked in Colombia. In this clinic, I noticed that clients seem much more involved in the treatment process than I've seen in the US. The hospital tries to hospitalize patients as little as possible due to the extra stress on the animal, so I would often see pet owners in the central hallway with their pets receiving their twice daily treatments. Lastly, to unwind, the clinic had a cafeteria with some of the most delicious food I had on the whole trip. In this trip, not only was I able to practice my clinical skills, I also learned some new ones. I built my veterinary Spanish and felt reassured that my colleagues understood me most of the time. Lastly, the most impactful part of this experience was learning some of the cultural nuances that affect the veterinary experience for professionals and pet owners in Colombia. I will take this experience with me through my future career, and I sincerely thank Universidad CS and Global Programs for this opportunity.